Bokatov and Shalom. I'm Stephen Bindanen with Israeli News Live. Riots have broken out in the United States, especially in St. Louis, Missouri, and in Oakland. Protesters all across the United States uh, in huge rallies mostly, mostly have been reported as peaceful demonstrations after the uh, uh, grand jury declined to indict uh, the Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson in the killing of the supposed unarmed uh, black citizen Mr. Michael Brown, uh, the, who was only 18 years old. The, the jury did uh, acquitted the police officer of this, and of course, police were prepared in case of the in case the acquittal came that there would be mass riots across the country, Washington D.C. as well. There were protests and chants. Uh, all through the city there the, in, in St. Louis, Missouri, uh, a used car dealership went up in flames as the rioters there uh, torched the cars. They engaged the police with rocks uh, there in St. Louis, Missouri. It is uh, certainly uh, concerned that this may even escalate even more. And perhaps this might be exactly what the United States is looking for to bring about martial law. We will only have to wait and see if that's exactly what takes place. Uh, in Israel, uh, we have uh, Mossad Yosef, who is the son of uh, uh, Mr. Sheikh Hassan, who is a leader in the Palestinian Authority, Hamas leader in the Palestinian Authority uh, party there, who has actually spoke out that Israel should once again engage Gaza in a war to stomp out and uproot Hamas. Israel National News reported this in an article this morning. Uh, it is also noted that uh, uh, Yosef happens to be, uh, has been active with uh, military intelligence for Israel since 1997 to 2007. He was active with the Israeli government. And he says that, the, uh, that Hamas is only using the, the peace agreement in order to rebuild. And it's already been noted that after only a couple of weeks that they were already back to building terror tunnels towards Israel to be able to infiltrate once again. He also said that engaging Gaza would also help to put down some of the protests that are going on in Judea and Samaria. And also it might be noted that the United States who has allied themselves with Iran and Turkey both had sent large numbers of infiltrators into the West Bank terrorists to help engage Israel in their struggle to, to push the Jews out of Jerusalem. And in, in other news, uh, we have, there was a three uh, men that were uh, in an altercation with Arabs in uh, the old city of Jerusalem. Uh, one 45 year old Jewish man was stabbed in the old city. Another one, his hand was injured. Uh, in his neck as well in the altercation. The 45-year-old man is in serious uh, condition in uh, a hospital in Jerusalem after the attack. Three suspects were arrested, uh, but uh, there, no, more, no more information at this early in the stage has been made available as of yet. Uh, and one, one more bit of news that I thought was very interesting was uh, on uh, Good Morning Israel, the IDF's uh, radio show this morning, uh, Economic, excuse me, yesterday morning, Economic Minister uh, Neftali Bennett fired back at the United States for basically butting in to Israelis' affairs over a Jewish state. And uh, he said to, on Good Morning America that, uh, that America should mind its own business uh, and let Israel take care of its own internal, internal affairs. His comment came after uh, the U.S. State Department implied that Jewish state law under, undermines Israel's dedication to equal rights. Well, that couldn't be anything further from the truth. In fact, it was kind of absurd that the United States State Department would make such a comment in light of the fact that Prime Minister Netanyahu, when stating, uh, speaking on this in the debate about the Jewish state law, said it is not right that Arabs can live in any Jewish neighborhood they want to, but Jews are not allowed to live in any of the Muslim neighborhoods in re reference to the fact that the, the Jewish uh, housing ministry is tr tries to build in Arab neighborhoods only to the protest of the entire world community coming against Israel. I'm Stephen Bendenu with Israeli News Live. Shalom.